Well, it's just about 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday, August 14th. It is midway through August. We've got two weeks left before we get to school. Uh, September. And I just finished up at uh, Femi 5 Logs. Uh, I watched two episodes, uh, two, two of the days, two of the vlogs. Uh, I've got two left to go to be current. Oh. Things always happen to sort of put you behind. And because they're further down the list, they're, they're, they're the place I get to near the end of the, we'll call the, well, the main walk, the main stroll of, of uh, YouTube. The, there's a tendency for uh, episodes to fall off if I can't get down to that point. So it's basically, it, 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 I go on the stroll as far as I can. Now it's, it's getting close to 8 o'clock. This is as far as I can go. Because now is the time to sleep because it's cool enough outside still. And the temperature will continue to rise till about noon, 1 o'clock. Then I have to get up. I have to do some gaming. But I also have to, uh, I have to uh, close the back door. Not close it completely, just enough so that, that, that the, the system decompresses. Because what will happen afternoon, uh, when the sun gets back there, um, it will start heating up the back, the back uh, entrance. And rather than cooling the place off by, by drawing the heat out, uh, what will happen is the heat will start to rise as the uh, that back part heat is, is sort of becomes in the direct line of the sun. And so it will no longer do the job of pulling out the air. But what you do is you leave the door a little bit ajar so that the pressure inside doesn't build. And that keeps uh, the temperature off to a certain degree. So I got that done. I got the, uh, the the new mail bin for the larger packages is up and installed. That's done. I still have to do some fixing up and cleaning up. The next task is to clear off the space where the scooter is going to be charging. I have a place for it. Um... Uh, And so this is what sort of transpired uh, while from the time we ended the vlog till now. That's sort of how things have sort of adjusted and, and worked out. Uh, when we were watching, I was sort of thinking about this, well, because I think about this as I, as I go along. As we go, September is back to school, but my schooling is kind of like, like homeschooling. I don't have to go anywhere. It's like being... It's like, a lot of people now are experiencing online. That's uh, our family nest. The 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 before I came to Family Five Vlogs, uh, I watched our family nest, and uh, uh, both Chase and Carly decided to do school online. They didn't want to go back in to the actual classroom because of the way they've got it set up, uh, there's no interaction with other other with their friends. There's no there, there isn't any any social. It's, it's like it's like elementary school. You don't go from class to class to class. Now you have the one teacher teaching everything. And it, it, it's not necessarily a good system because not, well, I, I wouldn't say the teachers themselves in the high school level are that qualified. Uh, they've got their certificate, mm -hmm. well, you have to have a certified teacher. Well, that certification is so low uh, in terms of the standard that it's really, it, it's kind of like certifying a moron. Oh yes, I'm a certified moron, so you can trust me. Uh, they don't question what they're what they're teaching. They don't question the validity. They don't have a background or understanding that that's that's in depth. They're teachers. They just they know how to teach, and that's it. They and the thing is that there are very few teachers who actually have a significant degree of background in what they're teaching. Most of them have taken summer courses to learn how to teach the class and are now teaching it. And and I know teachers who have done this. They, you know, they weren't science teachers, but they, the school said, you're going to be teaching science next year. They took a crash course in the summer for science based on the textbook that they're going to be teaching. 
and voila, they're a uh, certified science teacher based off of a summer course, you know. What type of standard is that going to be? What is a student like that going to learn? Oh, well, they don't need to learn. We don't. They're not professional yet. But the thing is, in 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 junior high and and in high school, the, these are the years that that the impressions are made that determines the many kids. Many kids will make the decision on where they're going to go next. And if your teachers are not properly don't properly understand science, in other words, they're simply high school teachers, they're not scientists themselves, how are they going, going to influence a person and say, I want to go into science? I want to become a scientist. How, they, how do you influence someone when you, you aren't doing that yourself? You have no experience in it. Teaching is one thing. The courses, the textbook is something else. But the research is significantly beyond that. And the thing is, it, it's starting to show that people don't understand what's happening today. The level of knowledge, level of, and the level of being able to sort of figure things out for yourself, is so low that that that, that rumors become true. It, 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 it's like we're living in in, in, a period where, in in a period where there's no there's no such thing as research. You don't check things. Well, that was before my that was before I was born. Yeah, it's called history. Before the term now is before I was born, and it's history, and it's completely disconnected from most of the, of the younger population. So, how do you explain anything to them? How do you talk about things, how, how history has impacted current times? How do you explain that when all their sense of history is, oh, that was before my time, you know, before I was born? You can't. Well, it's time for another video by Security Light. <laughs> I'm sitting outside. Uh, very nice night. Uh, I just woke up just a few minutes ago. It's about like 10:30. Actually, I woke up. I woke up an hour ago at 9:30. I was finally able to have the sort of the vacation that I wanted to have. Uh, <laughs> when your life is 24/7. Your vacations are, is nothing more than sleep, where you get uh, an extended amount of sleep time, and uh, sometimes it's just that's the, what the body needs. It's just your your body is so exhausted you have to go through it. And things fall off the schedule. The schedule readjusts itself. Um, rather than doing this i had a schedule set for finishing the assembly of the scooter that's gone out the window and sort of uh been uh, completely rescheduled uh so that uh, i don't have to work in as a it, it work in as a rushed manner that uh i had intended to in order to get the scooter done uh that's that's kind of how things go and uh but sitting outside here, it's really nice. I really do enjoy it. I do have some gaming to do in about a half hour. So I've got about a half hour left out here. and uh, Do the gaming, uh, make myself something to eat, and then begin uh, the YouTube drill the way you usually do. We'll start out the Yowie Vlogs and then move our way through and we'll see how far we get. Because <laughs> that's kind of the... Uh, that's that's the standard. That's a, that's what we typically do. And of course, I've got the, I've already got my ta I've got my tablet there. So I, I had done my shopping. I had done some writing, and uh, that's how the research test goes. And it you, you do it at a pace that that, that in many ways is uh, more leisurely than you typically would do if you were in school. Uh, homeschooling is a lot more intense. But uh, uh, right now it's the summer, so the schedule isn't it as intense as it would be as if it were during the uh, school year, like the starting September, things will get oh, more intense. 
there will be a part where I do my research and do my studying, but also at the same time uh, I'll be uh, going live on uh, a service called Bego, Bego Live. Uh, that uh, that's where I give some of my um, some of my lectures uh, over there. Over there, over there, you'll you can sort of see that you'll be able to see them here on Cyborg Alpha TV Network. They'll be all be listed. So um, this show, our 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 life is Cyborg Alpha is uh, coming from Kauai TV. Kauai TV is in development. There's still some things on the works that have to be done. Uh, I've fixed up my music studio a bit. Uh, I'm getting moving it further along so that it stays on a regular functional basis. Uh, there's a tendency when you're doing something, particularly if it places a multifunctional pur purpose, uh, has a multifunction, sometimes one of the functions drop off as you put, need to put things places. Uh, you, the workload, the workflow, if you if you, just, if you will, uh, sometimes flows onto the uh, one of the functions, and so in order to get the function back, you have to clear the overflow of uh, one of the, one of the tasks uh, in such a manner that it's still there and accessible, but at the same time that other function is there and accessible. And functional. So, in other words, every once in a while, the desk does get kind of complicated. It does get messy, and the cleaning and an organizing is required just because sometimes there isn't a way. There isn't a, 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 a <coughs> there isn't an opportunity to sort of clear things off. It just that's just the way it is. Anyways. Uh, See you in a couple hours for uh, Yahweh Vlogs in the YouTube stroll. Well, I'm still pretty much in the relaxed, chill mode to put my shirt on. I've been out without my shirt this whole time. I, I like some of the, the, the cooler air on uh, my skin. I like the way it feels. So... <laughs> But I had an, an amazing breakfast. My standard, my standard is always the milk tea. The tea is abs I, I, that's that's my absolute favorite. My next little thing that's absolute favorite now is what I call French toast pancake. Pancakes. They're made. You will see the picture here. Um, they're tiny. They're small. So they don't get too bready. They they they, they have a nice crispness to them. Uh, but they also have because of you put the you put extra egg in it, you put cinnamon in it, and you put extra uh, vanilla in it. The end result in terms of the flavor is, is like you're also having French toast. So you've got a pancake and a, uh, a pancake that's not soggy. It's got a nice firmness to it, like the way you have with uh, a good waffle. Uh, but you also have the flavor of uh, French toast. So there, there's all those three things combined in it, and it, 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 it's for me. This is exactly what I want. It, it, it's, it, it hits the spot right on. And one, I make it in a canister like this. I have an extra one of that, <clears throat> and it lasts for about a week. It makes a week's worth of pancakes. So I had that while I was watching the Yowie vlogs. The Yowie vlogs, they're, they're, again, you, you, you're hanging out with them. You're, you, you're hanging out with their daily lives and, you know, going through the motions that they go through on a daily basis. And then uh, I've just now finished at uh, It's Our Life. Apparently, uh, Capri has a new video coming out, so I've got to go and check and see what, what, that is, what, what that's about. Uh, their dog. Everyone was wondering about their dog. Who, uh, you know whether or not you know it, it's a purebred cavalier. It really depends. You know, it, sometimes dogs aren't actually purebred, even though they say they are. They are purebred. It really depends on whether or not the parents have been tested and how far back, how detailed uh, the sort of the pedigree is, and whether or not they've done the DNA testing. But DNA testing also has problems because there are errors within DNA testing. So the the 
the accuracy of, of the test on both sides uh, can be problematic, and this is uh, something they were running into in terms of with, with their dog, uh, with their dog Clover, uh, who, who doesn't look, they don't look, look like, like their parents. And sometimes uh, that's what happens. You get a, 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 a one, one part of the litter, one, one child that doesn't necessarily look like the parents. Maybe they look like an uncle or, or, or someone else down the line. They inherited genes in terms of their genetic makeup. They had, uh, the genes that, that were sort of activated when as they grew were genes that were not particularly common in the rest of the siblings or the rest of that, that genetic line. That happens. Sometimes you will have uh, genes that are there, but it is not common, become active in one child, but not active in the in the rest. So, and this is probably the case with Clover is that they have she has genes that are active, that are not common to the environment, They're not common to the parents, the siblings, or so on and so forth in terms of the germline. Anyways, onward and upward, <laughs> as we continue our YouTube stroll. Well, it's just about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, actually, a quarter to six. That'll look at more at the time. Uh, so, it's time to end the vlog. This is the end of the, end of, uh, the 14th and 15th. Uh, the vlog for uh, Friday. Uh, starts on Friday, the, Friday the four, August 14th. And now it's ending on Saturday, August 15th. So that's our time there. I just had to check to make sure. <laughs> it's in my mind, but uh, this is what uh, was that Family Five log. I just sort of watched uh, a, a couple of videos, uh, finished uh, uh, binge watching that. A lot of people are doing that now. When that they were doing the same thing, they're watching a lot of Office, and uh, they 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 binge watch that on Netflix. And the thing is, is that uh, uh, I think it's on Netflix anyway, because they also have Hulu Plus and. Uh, I think a couple other different services, uh, and a lot of people do that. They they binge watch these things. They they they, they go, uh, they go through whole seasons until they get on until they finish, and then go on to another show. They watch a whole season for that, and they do the same thing too. They're on different, uh, they watch different uh, uh, seasons one at a time, uh, you know, season at a time. The, the binge watching. As, but the thing is, they also talk about the fatigue. That, that, that there's so much going on during the day that they don't sleep properly. When the sleep doesn't come in properly, um, it, it messes everything up because then you feel lethargic throughout the day uh, because you you don't have the energy to sort of push yourself through through the day. And this is sort of the situation here is that even though I'm, I'm a, it's like being homeschooled, uh, the Rather than having a textbook in front of me that you simply follow and you stay within the textbook, the information is literally spread throughout the entire internet. It's all, all over the place, it, it, and you don't know where exact, you don't know exactly where it is. So you could spend a week finding information, and once you found that information, you, you, you built a small library. Then you have to go through it on a, on a more in depth level, and it takes months and years. Uh, to, to develop understandings and, and, and find information that's basically been hidden or lost for centuries. And this is the nature of what we call exploration research, where, where you are not doing what is already known. You're going out and finding something new. And sometimes the, the something new is something that's been lost for a long time. And it takes a lot of time. It take, you, And the fatigue does build. And that's what I'm sort of going through this weekend. I'm going through a, a bit of fatigue. Uh, I've been doing this, uh, uh, been talking about going 24-7. And I've had some medical issues that I had, had to deal with. But I've also had productive days where I was able to get things done. Like, uh, I get packages larger than the bin that I currently have out there. Uh, uh, what I did uh, over the last two days is add in a bin 
that's significantly larger. So I have a bin that good fits good size package. I got a package of Twizzlers today, a, a, a huge uh, a store package, a store, uh, 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 something that the store would get. I got it from off of Amazon, so I got a bulk delivery. And that fit in the bin all right, but there's some stuff that's larger that doesn't fit in the bin. And so now I have an, a second bin for larger items. And it took me uh, about two days to put that together, to clean it out, to make sure that the bin was okay, and to put it out there so that it finally, finally worked. I got that done. I also finished the electrical work on, uh, on the scooter. And so now the electrical work's done. Now I have to work on, on the seat. Which goes on the on, on the floor plate. The the floor there's the battery there's the battery component uh, part, uh, compartment. On top of the battery compartment that encloses the battery is the is the foot plate. That's where your feet stand. Uh, but the seat goes on there as well. So you, the, the 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 foot plate has to be fit to the seat stand where the seat is going to be on. And that's what I have to do next. So it's next is me work on the seat. Once it's all done, I make sure everything kind of fits. Uh, then I will put the foot plate on, put the seat on, and the bike. Then p move the bike, uh, the the e scooter, over to the charging point point where I'm going to charge it, and we'll be. Sh I should be done everything by Wednesday. I was going to try to rush and get it done for the weekend, but that's not going to happen. I just don't have the time. I don't have the energy. And but the thing is, I'm still I'm still behind on editing. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, I haven't uh, done the editing I need to get done. Uh, but I'll work things out and bit by bit we'll get there. And I forgot to say so, you know, whether you feel like you're worth it or not, no refunds.